Now, whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ, lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Amen. Praise the Lord. In this case, it's the Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinth, and he's saying that if anyone's done that church wrong, he wants them to forgive, but he also forgives them. Uh, because he impor- understands the importance of forgiveness and what happens if nothing, if we do not forgive, then Satan takes advantage. And that's when warfare enters. Uh, last night we had a meeting and there was warfare for sure. And through it, God revealed um, things in myself. that I have a lack of patience, compassion, and mercy for maybe others who don't feel the same way I do. And the enemy took advantage of it and caused me to lose my composure. And so uh, we see here that Satan likes to come in and create havoc. And he wants comes to seek, kill, and destroy. And so um, we can see here uh, what, is, what, is, what is the reason he comes and does it. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, It says, Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. Amen. The key here is Satan is the accuser. He is the accuser. And so if we we understand that in Matthew 6, verses 14 and 15, Jesus said, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So unforgiveness is sin. It is not pleasing to God. And so when we have unforgiveness in our hearts, the accuser of the brethren, the Satan, feels he has a right to come and torment us, and it's not a pretty thing. We lose our peace, we end up in strife with our brothers and sisters, and there's nothing but havoc when the enemy comes in. So if we know that unforgiveness is something that opens the door, then we want that door closed. So the question is, what if I want to forgive, but I can't seem to do it? I want to, I really want to forgive, like Paul wants to forgive, and others want to forgive, but it can't seem to do it. And we need to remember what Jesus said in Luke 18, verse 27. He said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Amen. The bottom line is, if we are willing to forgive, Jesus will help us forgive. He will cause us to forgive because we are in Christ and he can do all things in us. If we really want to forgive, then he will do it. All we got to do is reach out to an elder, confess our unforgiveness. He will do it. He will set us free because we're the ones in chains when we don't forgive. So we see here our word of the day is that if we forgive and everyone else should forgive as well so that the enemy would not take advantage of us, not bring destruction and death and strife, that we could all walk in love and peace and joy. So, Heavenly Father, we need your help. We need your help because we need to first search our hearts. We may not even know that we have unforgiveness in our hearts. And we want to be able to forgive. We want to forgive those who have even hurt our loved ones as well. And we need to because we don't want Satan to come in. So we come to you and we ask you to search our hearts this morning and check us, Lord, and reveal any unforgiveness for anyone in our lives that's hurt us. And then, Lord, give us the humility and the courage to confess this, get prayer, and watch you set us free because we're the ones in bondage when we cannot forgive and we're a target of the devil as well. We thank you for giving us this word. We thank you for checking our hearts. We thank you in advance for setting us all free. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Amen.